Uh, Scott, what, what's the latest today in terms of what you guys were able to accomplish at practice? Uh, basically the same as yesterday. Uh, we had uh, eight, eight players and, and then uh, Russell did uh, more of practice than he did a little bit yesterday. And then also uh, how uh, strained his left groin during practice. So hopefully that's not uh, too serious, but he didn't participate the last, you know, half of practice. And Russ, he did a little bit more, um, you know, what's the, what's the status there as you guys look ahead to Sunday? Uh, don't know. Don't know. We're just, it's day to day. He's just, he's been ramping up the last, you know, four or five days. Uh, it looks good. Uh, but it's still, still some time uh, before we have to make that decision. But we, I don't know. As of right now, I do not know. But he, like I said, is, is he's, he's looking, he's getting better every day. You could, you could see he's getting his, um, um, his legs under him. And he's, he's, I did a little bit more today than yesterday, which is a great sign. It's progressing and it's moving in the right direction. Fred, uh, Scott, Scott, do you anticipate that Sunday's game is going to happen? Um, I anticipate and I hope, I hope, I mean, I hope so. I, I we want to play. <laughs> I mean, there's no way we could have played uh, tonight. It would have been very, very difficult. I mean, let's face it, we're, we're behind the eight ball already. Um, but like I told all the guys, um, what we're going through is really uh, just a little bit of a, a, a setback in the in the real life uh, things that we all have to face. All of us got here with um, tougher circumstances. This is, I mean, it's not idea that ideal that we have to go to San Antonio and play with with a lot of our guys there. Our rotation guys won't be able to play, but we want to play. We want to. We want to get there. If we have enough, and you know, hopefully, you know, we will, and we'll play. I mean, we want. Like I said, it's been. It will be two weeks, and I know conditioning is going to be. Uh, it's going to take some time, but we're going to have to. We're going to have to fight through this together, and hopefully, come away with a few wins along the way until we get everybody back and and, and everybody back into NBA game game shape. And, and Scott, a report this morning that you guys signed Alex Len. Uh, beyond the fact that you just literally need bodies and big men right now, what does he bring you? Well, I don't, we, as, of, at, at, as of this point, I can't talk about uh, potential uh, players that we can you know, sign. I haven't talked to uh, Tommy in the last couple hours because of practice. Uh, you know, without saying names, we need bodies. Let's face it, we need bodies. Uh, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to practice without them. It's, it's even harder to play in the games without them. So we need bodies and we've been, Tommy and his staff has been searching and, and figuring out how we can keep, the, keep this team moving in the right direction under these circumstances. And I think we're gonna be in a pretty good place um, come Sunday. I'm excited about, I'm excited about the, the challenge. I'm excited about, you know, where we are. I mean, we've lost some games that we probably wish we would have had, but you know, we have, we have some plenty of time to make up and the last two practices give me hope, man. We, we are, we are competing. Our chemistry is amazing. Uh, we definitely need some time together and we need some, we need everybody back. And like I said, before we're going to get everybody back soon. I just don't know when. Ava. Scott, with that being said, what were you guys able to, to focus on in practice today? And have you been able to kind of, or are you still, I guess, in the area where you're assessing guys conditioning and working on that stuff? Yeah. I mean, I, to be like, to be really direct, it was basically the last couple of days, it just been conditioning practices. Uh, the technical stuff, the stuff that we can, we wish we can get together. It's hard to do when you don't have uh, enough bodies. And I love my coaches, but there's some crappy players there and, they're, and they're out of shape. Um, but we have to use them. We have to use them just to, just to get by. Um, but I think what we, what we got accomplished is that we got some good conditioning in the last, uh, you know, 
two days, even the, even the first day, it was, it was, that was more almost like a therapy session because we all needed it. We all needed to be together. And, 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 but I think the last two days, I can say this, we haven't added anything, but it was, that wasn't the goal. The goal was just to get guys through it. Uh, and even, and, and this was interesting, like after practice today, I thought they did a good job of really running and pushing each other uh, with not, with no subs. And normally we don't even take um, um, entire team water breaks. We usually split it up and get the other half of the guys on the court doing things. In the last couple of days, we just, everybody, we need a water break. And then after practice, you know, our, our leaders said, you know, we need some extra condition. This is probably the first time and I don't remember ever doing it uh, as a coach, but I, we used to do an old school workout. We did 17s. We did a 17 in, in under a minute. The whole, the whole group, coaches, um, coaches, players, you know, the side 50, you know, the side to side 17 times under a minute and everybody, the whole building did it, which was pretty cool to see. And good thing I count by threes. I was gonna say, how are you feeling? Took me a while to get over here, but I, good thing. Uh, I'm here. I'll be able to be able to come to work tomorrow. But it was good. It was great to see. You know, it was our leaders. Our leaders are. When you have it's, uh, times like this, you need good leadership, and and you need guys to continue to move the team and and talk to our guys because this is first time ever, and I hope this never happens again to any team. Uh, to miss this many games and and be away from your team for nine days. Uh, and, you know, knock on wood that this is the last season of, of this type of uh, circumstances. Next year, it could be um, a regular NBA season for all 30 teams. Neil? Hey, Scott. Uh, you've had six guys that have, you know, been testing positive anywhere from seven to 10 days now. Um, you know, the league has the mandated 10 to 14 days. Has the league told you guys exactly when and what day those guys can come back with anything, or is that all still up in the air? No, I, I think it's all still, it's not really like up in the air. It's not their decision, not our decision. It's, it's uh, the protocol, you know, the, te the testing, everything has to, you have to, you know, continue to progress uh, in the right uh, in the right direction on, on all the testing. And, and then you have to, do, uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but something to do with the conditioning test or your heart test and stuff like that before you can be deemed to be ready to, to join the team. So they have to do all that. I don't know when that's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be five days, 10 days or whatever. And then there's going to be, then it's going to be time to, you know, get it conditioned. Look what we had to do. I mean, I saw it firsthand with our guys who have been, you know, testing, um, negative and but just missing nine days and it's taken them some time you know we needed every bit of these last two days and then tomorrow before we play you know in san antonio i can't imagine the other guys uh just being on the just watching the other teams or other players it's taken them some time once they do get back so that still remains to be seen i don't know i really don't know when do you know if they are still being tested daily and if anybody has started their, you know, the requirement of six consecutive negative tests? Yeah, I don't know. I know they're still being tested like we all are. We're tested twice a day, uh, once in the morning uh, before practice, and then we have to come back there at night um, later in the, later evening. And that's, I mean, that's a pain in the butt in itself, but we have to do it and I, everybody's doing it. And, but I don't know if, I don't know as, as of this moment, if they started. And I really don't really know what it is. I just talked to Danny and, and he's let me know. I got a lot of things on my plate and he was, he'll let me know when the guys can come, come back. And I'm sure it's gonna be staggered. Uh, not everybody's gonna come back at the same time. And some guys are gonna come back probably quicker just from a conditioning standpoint. Ava. Scott, could you speak a little bit to the challenge some of the younger, less experienced guys like Cassius or, or Anthony Gill are going to have um, whenever you guys do come back, just not just from the conditioning standpoint of just kind of being thrown in and, and being expected to carry a heavier, heavier load than they have before? Yeah, it's going to be, it's, it's actually exciting to see. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing 
um, how they play because they're right as of right now, unless things change in the next 48 hours, um, they're going to have to play some, you know, some good minutes. And, um, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, with, I'm probably how they feel. The butterflies, um, I feel the same way. I like what they've been doing. I like the work that they've been putting in, but you know, it's different when you put it in, uh, in an NBA game against uh, NBA players. So um, that's our opponents, but it's going to be, it's going to be, um, it's going to be great to see. I'm looking forward to and helping them uh, play well, and I, and I think they will. Cassius is, Cassius is a great shooter. I mean, that's that. I don't say that. Uh, that about anybody that guy knocks shots down I mean, he, he's math he's a lot to learn like every rookie uh, especially that position that's a tough position to uh, uh the backup point guard and as of right now he's the, the third the third point guard or fourth point guard in our team when we have ish and Alou and everybody back but they're gonna have to play and and i'm looking forward to seeing them play well all right we'll finish up with chase Scott, when, when players are done with protocol or quarantine, do you expect them to kind of come back one by one or in waves or all at once? Um, I know there was discussion of like kind of backdating when the timeline started for each player. Are they all in the same timeline or should we expect it to kind of uh, um, be, you know, one by one or something like that? Yeah, I mean, they've been, it's going to, it's going to, I mean, I'm guessing, total guessing. It's a, a very low educated guess on my behalf that it's going to be staggered. Um, I mean, in my own little calendar, I've been doing it myself. Okay, who's the first two that went out? Who's after that? And I'm just trying to, you know, put the days together. And I still don't really know. And none of us really do know, but if my guests are not all going to come back the same day. Um, it's probably going to be one or two at a time. And, and then probably going to be some days in between each each group of guys or each player. That's going to be a challenge in itself. Um, but the most important thing we want everybody healthy. Um, talking to the guys, they're all feeling pretty good. Uh, but now it has to go through its course, and and then and then they come back. But that's the number one thing. They're all feeling much better. Uh, they're feeling good. They they miss being around the team. They want to be here. Um, but we know we have to do what's right for everybody, and, and we will. But when they come back, uh, we're all gonna gonna love them because we we need them, we miss them, and we need we need this uh, we need everybody to, for our team to be successful going forward. Hey, Howell. Uh, just off the bat, Scott mentioned just now you've been dealing with a with a groin thing. Where where are you at with that right now? Um, I mean, it just happened on practice. Uh, I just felt a little little quick and and had to get out but uh we see how i feel tomorrow i think i think i'll be fine it's not a big deal and and what have these last you know whatever it's been i guess two weeks been like for you and and how important has it been to just be able to get back your conditioning after such a long layoff i mean it's been it's been crazy i think everything happens so fast you know we play a game and then that same night we got somebody tested positive, so we had to cancel a game, and it felt like we were back in, in March last year, you know, not not knowing what was going to happen, if we are going to be able to practice, to play games. Um, but it's been great to be back, and I think I, I had three days working just me and a coach. Some guys were doing just at home, but the last two days being able to practice and run and run our plays and get back to, uh, to the grind, I think it, it's been good. Chase. Hey, Aul, um, as you, uh, you know, had obviously these, these days off uh, without games, uh, as you took a step back from this season, did anything crystallize for you as far as, you know, what you guys have done well or what you guys need to improve on once you return to playing games? I think so. I think it gave us a lot of time to reflect and kind of see things that we have to get better, things we, we, we've done good. Coaches try to send us video, a um, couple videos from from the last two three games we play. Uh, we did a lot of good things. I think the game against Phoenix was uh, was great. You know, not only for the for the win, but I think the way we played, the, the way we defend, um, and I mean, it's not 
it's not great that we had to stop right after that game. I think we are finding our finding our our way and finding our um, like the way we have to defend and play. But I think it gave us time to to reflect and hopefully uh, we'll be back in the same with the same mentality and playing the same the same way we did against Phoenix. And uh, Coach Brooks said that in that game, uh, you know, he installed a little bit more structure to the offense, trying to cut down on turnovers and that that would help you guys in transition defense. Um, what, what can you say about that adjustment that you guys have made and are trying to make moving forward? Um, yeah, he talked to us about um, playing with, I mean, still playing with pace, but taking care of the ball and not uh, running too much. I think we are sometimes going crazy and down and back, down and back and having two, three turnovers in a row. And uh, he start calling plays and trying to put everybody in their spot and, and, and uh, find the things that we're looking for on offense. And I mean, it seems to, to help, you know, help a little bit. And I think taking better shots on offense, it's going to give us a better chance to defend. Uh, sometimes you take uh, a bad shot or you get a turnover and that's an easy bucket on the other way. So I think that I think that was good for our team. Um, like I say, we're still trying to figure out the way we play and, and how to take take care of the ball, uh, what options we have to explore on um, on offense, and I think uh, I think that was that was actually good for us. Ava, hey, how well, um, you guys are obviously pretty thin at point guard with um, Russell not back and practicing fully. I'm wondering if you've had conversations with Cassius just about kind of all the things he's going to have to do to be ready to play and and probably shoulder a more significant minutes um, when you guys do finally get back to playing. I mean, he's a rookie that. Um, he's very smart, and I think he knows what he got to do. Uh, of course, we, we talk a, a, about uh, some details in practice. Um, I think uh, nobody has to tell him he, he needs to be ready. I think he knows what's going on. I think he knows that um, there's a big chance he's going to have to to be out there and playing, and I think he he's been showing that um, he's ready, you know, not only in practice, but every time. Uh, preseason and the, the the minutes he played even during the season that wasn't much. I think he showed that um, he's ready. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think uh, Russ and Brad mostly like to uh, take him and 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 tell him a little uh, detail or something he got to do better or um, just to to get him ready. But he knows he knows uh, where he at and he knows that um, he got to be ready.